Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another recreation look. I think after I do my kind of Linda Halberg um, inspired look, I've had a few like requests and stuff. So this was a requested one. And actually I did see it and really wanted to do it anyway. So it's um, the Cara Delevingne makeup look that Lisa Eldridge did on her for the, um, uh, what's it called, Carnival, Carnival Row um, premiere one. So it's this one right here. It's really quite fun and colourful, like quite quite easy on the skin, quite natural, nothing too over the top. And then this pot with colour on the eyes and kept it quite simple with the lips. But I just thought actually it looks like quite a fun makeup look. A pop of colour, but it doesn't look like it's um but not an over the top colourful look, if that makes sense, um, in terms of the placement and things like that. And I did think it looked really cool, so I'm glad it was also recommended, uh, suggested for me to do it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to attempt to do in today's video. So I'm going to get start with the skin portion first. I'm going to first of all go in my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now, skin doesn't look too heavy with foundation, so I'm going to take my gosh... Um, exceptional foundation. I'm not going to take too much of this. Just dot it about and then buff it in. Just gonna start off. With, start off with that, and just keep it quite light. I think on the skin. And I can just go in with some concealer if I want to add more to my skin. So yeah, I will go in with some concealer just to kind of cover areas I want to cover. So as always, the Hint Beauty Concealer in light. I'm just going to take some under the eyes. I think I've also done a Lisa Eldridge um, inspired makeup look before. I think it was one of my, um, another requested one. Because she's also a really amazing makeup artist um, who does really nice skin work, I find. Like, she makes the skin look flawless, but it doesn't look heavy or anything like that. Or like, or like um, there's tons of product laid onto the face. She does some really nice looks as well. I'm just going to do a little bit more under the eyes because I feel like I need it today. Okay, I'm going to set my face using powder. So the powder I'm always using is the Collection Primed and Ready Powder. I never really mention it. It's one from, you can get in just in Super Jug. I think Blue's do collection as well, but um, it's nothing, not an amazing powder, but it does kind of what I need it to do, and um, I'm looking to invest in a better powder, so if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. Nothing too heavy, because although I have oily skin and I need it to kind of set and last, I don't like that cakey look, like I don't like to bake. Um, or anything like that. So I like it to look it quite natural on the skin, but obviously set as well. So this does do the job, but it's nothing amazing, but it's just because it's just easy to get hold of, really. And not too expensive. But yeah, if you've got any recommendations, some really good powders, let me know. I did use the RMS CA, no, not the RMS CA, the RMS powder, but I thought it's quite a hard one to work with. And you have to be careful with it because you can, because it's so finely milled, if you picked up too much and didn't dust away properly, although it looked to fine in person, if you took pictures, you could see like it get left white cast basically behind. So, um, yeah, I decided I didn't really enjoy it after all. Okay, on to the skin portion. So I'm going to do a little bit of sculpting, but just a light amount using my Lily Lolo Sculpting Glow Geo Kit. I really need to pick up a new one of this because it's running low. I'm just going to do a bit of light sculpting. She's definitely got something going around on the forehead, like sculpting wise. Again, it's nothing too heavy. 
and a little bit of sculpting here. She's definitely got a pop of pink blush. I can't tell if she's got a highlighter on in the photo, so I might just add a small amount of highlighter. But kind of like a natural one just to make the skin glow a bit. Do you know, I wish they had this separately because obviously I got this illuminator in a single and I've got it with the blush duo. So I'd really wish they did like the sculpting shade separately. Because then I just would only need to purchase that instead of both, but I don't think they do it separately. Okay, so I'm going to add the pop of pink, and it is quite a pinky shade, so I'm going to take my Nip and Fab palette as always, go in this really kind of pink shade here, and it starts quite far back, and then just like pop of pink. It's nothing too, too dramatic. Although having looking at this now and looking at the picture, I think it needed to be more of like a baby pink as opposed to this kind of pink, but I don't think I really have a baby pink blush in my collection anymore. I know I did, but I don't think I anymore. Okay, so like I said, I do want to, I'm just going to add a touch of highlight. It's hard to tell because of the angle of the picture whether she has a highlight or not, but I'm just going to add a little bit of the... Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the rose one from the Lilo. I think it'd work quite well. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the rose one from Lily Lolo. And just do a little bit, just right on the tops of the cheekbone. To add that nice glow, but nothing too intense. A little bit. Now moving on to the brow portion. If you know Cara Delvin, you know she's got the quite big brows, nice and bushy and stuff. So I'm going to go, I'm not going to go overboard my brows, but I am going to make them thicker than they kind of naturally are. So I'm just going to take some powder. So first of all, I'm going to kind of do them how I normally would and then add extra kind of thickness in areas. Basically, gonna brush up a little bit further than I would normally. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too crazy because I don't want it to it needs to still suit me in a way. I'm just gonna flick up quite a bit. She has that kind of classic kind of bushiness at the front. So moving on to the eye portion, which is kind of the fun portion for me. I'm going to use this palette, it seems to be my palette at the moment that I go to for recreating things, just because it has everything in it, so it's the Carnival Pro Stacey Marie Be Perfect palette. So this is what I'm going to be working from today. So I'm going to start off with the yellow portion first. So I'm going to be taking the shade Keen here. This yellow shade, but I'm also going to be mixing a little bit of pillow talk in there as well because it is a slightly brighter yellow than this one in the picture. I'm going to take it on quite a fluffy brush to begin with, um, and I'm going to slowly build this up. So she's kind of got it. This is that transition shade, and it's also all over the lid as well. So I'm going to start working this into the crease area to begin with. And it is quite an intense colour as well, so I am going to build up, but I just want to do it bit by bit. Like this. And it does look slightly winged out, which is perfect and it's out of my kind of style.
Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with some orange. I'm gonna take the shade Lit here, and again I'm gonna mix it in with key uh, with the pillow talk. Sorry to get my customized kind of orange that I want. So just taking some lit, a little bit of pillow talk. Now this gets focused in the inner portion, and it does get kind of quite brought up into kind of the brow bone area. No, it doesn't. I lied. Okay, so I was wrong. It doesn't really get brought up into the brow bone area. Having looked at it again, it is more focused on the lid. Oh, I do quite like it, though, the fact that I brought that a bit further up. Yes, this is brought on the inner portion of the lid. And it's also on the outer portion. So I'm actually using this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's one it came in one of the palettes. It's actually a really good brush for a palette brush. Um, so I use that top end just to put the colour down. For the outer portion, I'm using a fluffier end just to give more of a blended look. So again, still the same colour, but it's kind of more focused on the outer corner. But it is this time a little bit blended into that yellow. So this will give me a blend. But honestly, this is such a fun look, but it's also very kind of simple as well, in a way, if you look at the look. So you'll see. I'm just going to pick a bit more of Keen Up, which is that yellow, on a fluffy side of this brush and just go through that. So the middle section is kept yellow for this. So I'm actually going to pick a bit more of Keen Up and just intensify that middle portion. Something like that. Okay, so moving on to the lower lash line portion. So I'm going to take some more of Keen, the yellow. And this bit is going to be focused right on this inner portion here. To the third, the way out. Now for the outer portion, she doesn't have orange. It looks more like a pink. Whether it's a matte pink, or a shimmer pink, because there's a pop of shimmer pink in, uh, in a corner. I'm not 100% sure um, either way. So I think I'm going to stick with matte pink, just because the rest of the eyes matte, and then keep the shimmer in the kind of inner corner bit. So, I'm going to go for a very small amount of funky, this pink here. Amount that up and pop this on the outer corner. I think this is such like a fun group of colours together. I'm just going to flip the brush around and just go ahead and blend. So that onto the inner corner. Now I don't have, there isn't a shimmer pink in this palette. So I'm first of all going to take some of Pep Talk and then add a shimmer over the top, like a sh uh, shimmery fossil colour, which I think is what I had to do in my Linda Halberg recreation as well. So, is that clean? Yep. First of all, take Pep Talk. Maybe add a bit of Pillow Talk in there as well, because it's probably a bit too bright a pink. And then I'm going to go in with, I think it's again this is what I did last time, Pink Me, which is kind of like an iridescent white colour, but it's got an iridescent pink to it. So pick some of that up and use that for the shimmer portion. So it doesn't look like she's got anything in the waterline or anything on to the brow bone in terms of a highlight. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of Pep Talk. I mean Keen, sorry, not Pep Talk. And because it's quite blown out, so I'm just going to take a little bit further up this yellow, softly. Okay, 
So that is literally the eye portion now. Now I just need to do my lashes. So she, I think she is wearing false eyelashes, a little bit quite wispy ones, but I'm not. I'm not very good with false eyelashes, so I'm just going to go in with some mascara instead. And she definitely has it uh, on the upper and lower lash line, so I'm going to take the Lily Low Big Lash Mascara for this. On to the lips. It looks like she's got quite a light, frosted pink lip. So I'm going to take... Um, Pretty sure I use this in the, the 60s video. This is the Kiko kind of pink lipstick. Take a little bit of this over the lips. I take some of the in the all together from Lily Lolo for that frosted feel. Okay, so the lip is definitely off, it's not the right colour at all, but I think it does work with the look that's going on with the eyes and stuff. So that is this look complete, I really love the look, like I said it's very colourful and fun, but actually it's quite a simple look to achieve and I think really easy if you're someone who um, wants to play with colour and wants an easy way to do it, this actually is really easy and I think it looks so nice. I think because also it's got the oranges in it, it makes my blue eyes pop a bit more um, but yeah I just really love this look in general but like I said keep, she, Lisa Eldridge always keeps it quite nice on the skin quite light but flawless which is what I love but then I, I love the contrast within the kind of these cool bright eyes and yeah I just really love this look in general so um, I really hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for watching if you have any requests for future videos down below and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching